How are you doing and how have you been? My name's Taz Askell. This is Perkins. Let's get to it. Right, party people, what is the plan for this episode? We're doing really, really well. Uh, we haven't got tons of food. However, what some eagle-eyed viewers have responded with, and I always appreciate the help, is we can actually add, and I'm holding you lot to this party people, so if it's not true, then I blame all you because it's the easy way out. We have got a transport pod to crash, to crash off, to start off, so we have got a little bit of human meat we can go with. Um, you pie people are right, though. We do need to be a little bit careful in the sense of, oh, he is going to get up if we don't get him. It's a shame we don't have a hunt button. Uh, where's our colony? That right, Perkins. So, I haven't pl actually played Perkins for a couple of weeks, but that's fine, that's fine. It's like fine wine getting back into it. I forgot how good the base is, actually. We've got the kill box planned out, so that's going to be lovely. Hydroponics is on the top of my list, because apparently we can go... Um, we can put rice in some of the human meals to, like, beef it out, and apparently we don't get negatives for it. So if that's the case, that's going to be awesome. But I do agree, we need to get hydroponics up. So we're going to start off small, because I've never actually done hydroponics before. So let's just start off an area like that, because we did research hydroponics. We did. So yeah, let's start off with just like a room like this. Let's see how we go. And then as successful we are, because let's be honest, we're going to be successful because it's a colony that I make. So of course, no comments. Right, there we go. So we set that up. We're still under toxic fallout. We have one colonist idol. Perkins is going to go slaughter that person. Forgot there's a mech cluster there. Uh, to be fair, you can just jetpack over it though, can't you? Um, I don't know. That's risking it for a biscuit, isn't it? Yeah, sorry Perkins, go the other way. Okay, so that's what's slowing us down at the moment. The memories of Perkins all flood back to me. It's hard to forget a gal like Perkins. Right, because we were going to get um, another geothermal generator up there. Have we got turrets yet? We do. So we probably want to throw a couple of turrets up here just so then the game doesn't attack us with breaches through this way. They will definitely attack us through this way, though, because they won't go where the traps are. Which is why we want to get away from a trap base as quickly as possible. Perkins, what is your toxic build-up? 4.2%. Have you got any clothing that we want? Not really. Great shooting. You getting shooting skill for this? No. I don't say it rotted. Probably because of the toxic um, fallout. And uh, no, go this way, Perkins, because I don't want you to be cannon fodder. Hopefully the toxic fallout goes away sooner rather than later. I've got a little bit of granite, so we could start building this. The problem is, is again, just the toxic fallout. We've got the bedrooms at a good temperature, so they're actually... Um, can feel warmth in the colony, which is great. Research-wise, ground-penetrating scanner, yes, to get some more steel. I mean, do we just rock it, or do we just rock it? Another sculpture has been made. 110. So, like, let's just look at people's needs, then. So, we're not eating cannibal food. Okay. Decent dining room tile. Stuck indoors. I mean, actually, people are happy with the environment, which pretty crazy, but... Ground penetrating scanner. Do we want flak armor or mortars? Go flak armor. I think that's going to help us out more. The problem is we haven't got any cloth though, but let's get it researched because if we're looking to get hydroponics up, I think the first thing we're going to do is try and get the rice sorted. I'm pretty sure a wise person once said 
um, rice is really good in hydroponics because if the power cuts out while you're doing hydroponics, the crop dies. Now, because rice is harvested really quickly, hydroponics, I believe, then times like the growing speed by something crazy, like 200% or something like that, with rice in particular. Just just quoting one of my guides there. <laughs> but no, it does it even faster. So it makes more sense to do rice on hydroponics than it does corn, for instance. Because if you watch RimWorld or have a save, um, solar flares happen quite a lot which cuts off power which means anything that was growing will instantly die with hydroponics what i don't know is do we still need sun lamps and whatnot it doesn't actually say but i assume it would though right there, there wouldn't be the like the wildest thing i've ever said now obviously the plan would then be to then root... Well, the plan is going to be to roof it anyway. So hopefully then that temperature would be, like, negated. Well, like, we wouldn't need to put heaters in and stuff. That's if the geothermal generator on its own can heat all this. That's the plan. I might be talking nonsense. Let's be honest. I don't worry. I rarely talk nonsense. Now, apart from that, we are literally just researching, going through the motions. We're not losing anything. I mean, we don't actually have the meat to be able to do any of this. Idle colonists. Have we got any more human leather to be making? No. Well, we've got a sculpture, so we might as well actually install this. So let's install it in the freezer, because just to get another one in there. There we go. Right, let's look at the beauty for a moment. And we get a massive, like, minus freeze from just the floor. Eventually, we're going to have to sort that out. We have got an unstable power cell we could get up. Could just install it here, I suppose. Just for the time being. Like, it's extra power. There's no reason not to. Eventually, I suppose, we'd want to... You, obviously, um, down the line, but it's not obvious if you've never done it before, so... We want to use them for deep drilling down the line. But however, like, it's free power, so it seems silly we're not using it at the moment. We're just basically waiting for this toxic fallout to go. And then we can start building the hydroponics, so it's just sort of... We're at Randy's mercy at the moment. We're lucky this happened while we had a stockpile of 45 meals. However, because we're not eating humans, people are starting to get a bit... We're starting to look at vass and tail and thinking, hmm, tasty, tasty. It's just nice that we've got four people, to be fair. Because we went so long with just Perkins. Perkins and Yoko for quite a while. Then we ate Yoko's brother. <laughs> oh, fun times, fun memories. <laughs> uh, forced weather, uh, rainy thunderstorm for sixteen days. Uh, we could get honor, glitter world medicine, and a bit of silver. Have we got medicine at the moment? A bit more honor. Perkins could get some honor. Yeah, why not? I mean, we're staying inside anyway. It's rainy thunderstorm, so it's nothing too cray-cray. It's a bit of extra Glitter World medicine, which pretty much is our medicine at the moment. Well, I say that. Well, we've got 15, like, industrial medicine, and then we're going to have 16 Glitter World. I'm going to put everyone in the winter one. We can go out a little bit. Just got to um, manage that appropriately. Yeah, I was going to say, I might actually allow all this. So let's go... Zone, expand, winter. Because let's get some construction going. Because my concern is that we get to the end of the episode and Toxic Fallout is still here. I mean, at that point, we'd probably have to eat someone. 
I should start doing votes on Twitter like, which colonist should we eat today? Ha ha. Ha. I mean, that's the joke that Perkins makes at the dinner table and everyone looks ultra concerned. <laughs> okay, we have got a raid. Sadly, it's a mech attack. So we are going to go back under attack. The joyous energy that we once shared is no longer. We don't want to see any centipedes. Okay, they're fine because they're they they're gonna like die rather quickly. Okay, there's quite a lot, four altogether. I mean it's steel and perhaps components, another one up here coming down. A lot of them will get one hit or two hit. I think the pikemen are two hits on the steels, and the lancers are just one, but we're going to see that. Oh, some of them got one help. Okay, the problem with this is it's not drastically bad. The problem is it, is it just wears away our resources. And we're not exactly resource rich in the first place. This pikeman is like, nah, I don't want none of that. See you later. Nice thing is we have all our zones sorted, so when we need to hide, we can just easily cower in our base. It's going to go destroy a wall. Okay, I'm going to let it destroy it. Did you get that out of your system? He just hated that bit of wall being there. Perkins likes that wall, so she'll build it back. And now it's going to suicide on the traps. Okay, okay, whatever you say, Randy. Just need that one to go away, then we'll continue trying to build our... I forget, we had all that meat over here, all that human meat. Problem is, we couldn't get up. We could have risked it and, like, jetpacked Perkins in picked up one jet but the problem is all it takes is for one shot I mean we can deconstruct all these so we do get something out of this I suppose volcanic winter I mean oh no everyone it's going to be really cold in the colony oh just hit a pause you can see the green is starting to fade which means the toxic fallout we will get a message shortly is starting to chill out this is brilliant Yep, the worst of the toxic fallout has settled. That's lovely. I assume there's no wildlife now. I mean, that sort of was being rather optimistic. Okay, we want to turn on our machining table because we have all these mechanoids that we can now shred. Yeah, then Perkins will start building that. Then we can have a look at hydroponics. Never done hydroponics before. So with a normal colony, like, never felt the need. I'm not saying there hasn't been a need, but I've never. Maybe this is going to convert me. Convert me to what? I don't know. It could convert me to a squirrel for all I know. You have to be prepared for these things. Just need one more bit of granite. To be fair, instead of waiting a year, I could just build a steel door there, get Perkins to build that, and then we're all done. Work schedule-wise, I feel like we've got everything really under control, I have to say. Like, if it, like it's quite fluid. Like we have to be, because obviously the little colonists that we do have. But I feel like we've got a really good bunch, which I think is why I'll be more disappointed, like... When we have to eat them. The key word is when. Okay, we've got steel down here. Okay, we do have an area one, so we do need to mine all this. Okay, the wealth of the colony is quite high at the moment, so we do need to keep that in mind. But let's mine that while we've got it. Are we running out of granite? Solar flare, everything goes off. 
Vass going up there to... Okay. I mean, can we prioritize granite? I mean, you are, so that means there isn't any. Okay. So what we'll do down there then until we sort that out, we'll just make that wall out of sandstone. Get it built. Get it built. Doesn't matter what it's built with. I mean, it does. Like the three little piggies, if they told us anything, don't build a house out of hay, but we've got bricks. Just hay bricks? I don't know. Disappoints me when they all go to sleep at the same time. We are in summer. Surprisingly. <laughs> I always have to say that it's our summer, our version of a summer, which is still winter. Let's be honest, it's severe winter in some aspects, but. No, oh, there's granite here, you sneaky little snakes. Oh, we've got granite now. Okay, we'll build a granite just so it's a bit stronger. Just because granite has the most hit points, so we want to protect ourselves as best as we can. We do have plans for this kill box, but with this cluster here, it sort of puts them plans on delay. Do need some melee people. Starting to appreciate melee more in Rimworld as I use it. Not saying range isn't good, range is amazing, but a nice blend of them both, like you can be a real like defensive force with it, which is nice. But anyway, we move forth. Parkins enjoying some meditation because a gal's got to meditate. Major break risk? What's the matter, Vass? You're a night owl. I'm an idiot. What's the matter? You're in my colony. That's what the matter is. I'm just setting up a Vass's routine just so Vass doesn't hate me every day. There we go. My tail's building that. Love it. Perkin's still mining away. Bless her, bless her little cotton socks. Okay. There we go. So hydroponics... Or the experiment that is hydroponics will be up shortly. Probably want the geotherm other geothermal generator up. Right, so we are going to have to roof all this. So how hot is it about to get in this room? It's a big room. So let me get rid of these plans. And I imagine hydroponics is going to want quite a lot of components and whatnot. No, 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 it's reasonable. 100 steel, one component. Okay, it's not hot, hot in this room, but it's okay. So the traps are up and whatnot, so it's a case of just collecting some steel and then giving this a go. So what we'll do is actually have a look at how much steel is laying around. So I'll double click, then I'll select all the steel. So we're about 300. So let's get two up for the time being. So if I go one, two. I still think we're going to need sun lamps, though, aren't we? I feel like that's something that... The more I think about it, the more that's going, that like makes sense in my head. But we're going to build two, and then we can experiment with two, rather than do it with, like, too many, and then, like, it go, like, just drastically bad. I don't know how drastically bad, like, it could be. It's going to need... Okay, we've already started constructing. So 
So we build one there. That will cover a lot of the room. Let's see. So yeah, we want rice. Okay, so we've got two up. Got a sun lamp. And we've got power problems. Which is perfect when we're trying to grow hydroponics. Turn that off, turn that off. Let's queue up another geothermal generator. And then we'll do the power conduit all through the wall. Then onto our power. So then we need to collect enough resources to get that up as well. So that's fine. So for the time being, let's turn these off, right? Yeah, it does need light. Yep, yep, yep. I thought so. It made sense. Right, let's find steel. The hunt for steel. It's like, where's Waldo? Where's steel? Steel in there, but we ain't going to get to that. Components, loads of steel up there. Is this in our zone? Oh, it's the... No, it's dormant though. We should be fine. So that is a steel option. Some up here. Okay, sorry Perkins, but we are going for a big walkies. There's some in here. There's some in there. Some round here. Just going to mine a load of it. See how we go. A load of plastic as well. Have we got any components in the colony? Well, I've got 24, so I won't bother mining too much more. Not really too much else I can shut off in the base, to be honest. That's going to like save like tons of electric anyway. Perkins, did you move one slot and then come back? You are a disappointment sometimes. Food-wise, we are running out. Ten, ten mils left. Not great. Not the worst we've ever been in, but... Oh, we're going to have a big push tomorrow. To get our hydroponics up. Big push. So we need to get that other geothermal generator up. Have we got anything else that... Problem of Thomas. Oh, there's an unknown threat. I mean, it could be humans. Thomas, except. We're going to eat Thomas. If anyone, like, has watched this series and thought we weren't about to eat Thomas right then, like, you've only got yourselves to blame. And it's a pessimist, though. Permanent mood loss, like, could bring more humans as well, so, like... Come on, party people. Think it through. Thomas can actually mine. So before we eat you, Thomas, can you just mine a load? Like, it means you would actually be remembered in this colony. Well. Then the other colonists can we put in the winter zone just so we can keep them safe. And then Thomas can just happily mine until the threat comes. Hopefully it's humans. We want it to be humans. Just because Thomas, he doesn't look like chubbed up enough to feed too much of the colony. That's on him though, do you know what I mean? Exercising, working out, looking after himself. What a scumbag. Yeah, look at Thomas, such a good boy. I ain't taking anyone as a pessimist. Like, I can break down colonists just on my own. I don't need any help from the game. Some would say I'm a master at making my colonists break down and want to leave. And they would be very negative. True, but very negative. Look at Thomas go! Wouldn't it be funny if he had a breakdown, left the colony and just took all his steel? <laughs> It'd be hard to say I didn't deserve it, to be honest. <laughs> what are you going, Thomas? No, you're not going to do anything. You're just mining, my man. 
You're not like eating or like doing anything you want to do. It's about what I want, Thomas, not what you want. And that's that's where this relationship went wrong with me and Thomas. Well, we've got enough materials to get the other um, hydroponic, hydroponic, geothermal generator up, which is good, and a little bit more. So actually, we could get Thomas to start hauling. Thank you, Thomas, for offering that. That's so kind of you. And all before we eat you. Like, the problem is he's putting muscle on. And that's not as tasty. Do you know what I mean? You want the fat rather than the muscle, I suppose. So, are we tenderizing him? Yeah, look. Growth rate on the rice plants. Although the rice plants are about to die just because the power keeps falling in and out. 280%. That's pretty legit. Right, this last trip, Thomas is going to have a breakdown and then Perkins will um, smack him over the back of the head. Thank you for mining and hauling for us, Thomas. Can you just come into Perkins' room? Perkins wants to have a chat. He thinks he's it. He thinks, ah, oh, Perkins, the boss. Female, ah. Oh, I'm in, I'm in. But this is what you get for being a... I know if Thomas is a female. I should, well, maybe... maybe I don't. I'm going to stop talking now. Just watch the war crime happen. Perkins doesn't hide it anymore. Well, she's, so, she's trying to hide it from everyone. Right, now beat his head in. Flak armor's done. Let's go into mortars. Vass, this is awkward. Oh, this is awkward. Look, he's even got the... Hi, Perkins, what? Like, like Vass, it's not what it looks like. It's really not what it looks like. This is just awkward. I don't even know what Perk. Sorry, Vass. Did you see something? No, 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 no. Can't do it. Sorry, Vass, I'm feeding the colony. Um, I can't even remember who the cook is. Yoko. Yoko just cries every day having to, like, Oh, not Thomas. Not Thomas. Draft on draft. Cook. There we go. Human meat is back on the menu. That will improve moods, like, dramatically. Not that they're, like, crazy low, but, again, you have to keep an eye on it. Oh, more clothes. Well, if you're making clothes, I don't mind power being on. Just need to get that generator up. Probably should get um, a tool cabinet in here. How much steel do you need for that tool cabinet? I can't remember where it even is. 200, but it does increase his work speed. Would be worth it, wouldn't it? Let's be honest. Work speed is nothing to like put your nose up at. Um, let's go area one because if we can get the other geothermal generator up, we've actually been fairly productive. Tail, what are you doing? Um, fixing a heater, I'll allow it. Right, Perkins is coming up to mine. I will just make sure she mines a big chunk rather than just, like, one square and then goes home. Because then, at least, then if we don't get it up this episode, next episode, it's just sort of for formality. And then we've still potentially got a human raid to come at us from Thomas's mission. Hopefully it's human. Rather than, I don't know, rabbit. Oh, rabbit's tasty. Not that I've ever had rabbit. I mean, to Perkins, nothing's tasty apart from Yoko's brother. So too soon, too soon. I don't feel like I feel like like Perkins would be like, "You're right, Yoko. Still got your brother in my teeth." <laughs> I feel like she's a proper psycho. 
Yeah, she's a psychopath. It is a trait, so it does make sense. It all checks out, party people. Okay. I'm going to cancel all that because actually there is 641 steel that just needs to be hauled. Looks like Tail has started building this um, generator, so hopefully it can get up sooner rather than later. No rush, Tail. No rush! Future of the colony on the line. But don't you rush down the line. I don't know. I don't know. That one won't be on my album, I'm afraid, party people. That wasn't hip to the hop. I thought Vass was just running off the map then. Like, I've seen too much. I've seen too much today. I can't put up with it. Vass, I'm going to be honest with you. You're going to see a hell of a lot more than that. Maybe just a little bit. Just don't come into Perkins' room ever again. That's the message behind that. If you got to this part of the video, leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment. And me and Perkins will catch you next time, party people. Bye.